What's up guys, Evil Deer here and I'm back for some more random Esperanto slash Perfect Dark lessons. So, in this particular lesson, I'm going to be focusing on two verbs which what? cause English speakers a little bit of trouble. And those verbs are SI and CONI, okay? And I'm kind of drawing out that SI, the SC sound, because I want to... Um, sorry, my phone just went off. I wanted to kind of like pronounce the sound so you can really hear it. Normally people just say Miss Sias Tion, like they really merge the two together, but I'm going to try and more clearly pronounce the, t the sounds right now. Anyway, also I've had a few people complain about the fact that my voice within these gaming videos isn't the best, and that's because I'm using like this crappy little Ikea type of mic. <laughs> Ikea, I don't know why I said Ikea, it's not really from there, but it's a pretty bad mic. It's a pretty bad mic, but now I've just ordered me a Blue Yeti microphone of death. So in a few weeks, I should have some awesome crystal clear sounds coming from my mouth. Anyway, let's get into the lesson, shall we? Enough with the random distractions. So the first verb, um, see, means to knowledge, to have knowledge of, or to know, or to have a precise idea of. Okay. Now the other one, Connie, means to be acquainted with. Now just give me one sec, because I just got to do this for the random quest, because we are playing a game as well. And take photos. Right, let's get out of this. Let's get back down to that baby. Turn around. Ah, no, wrong. Ah, uh, forgot that you got to first deactivate the cam spy. Ah, uh, how could I forget that after 20 years of not playing this game? Seriously. Okay, so. Well, the, you know, like. I know I said one means to be acquainted with and the other means to have knowledge of, but to me, as an Australian English speaker, that really doesn't mean much because I never use the word to be acquainted with. It just doesn't exist in English. To me, it sounds like something a stuffy old British guy with a tea and a cat on his lap might say, Yeah, I'm mildly acquainted with Frank. We go way back. But I don't know. What about you guys? Do you ever say to be acquainted with? Like, is that something that Americans do and... Um, Brits do? Like, I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, let's work on an example to explain the difference of these two verbs. So, just remember, si means to have knowledge of or to have a precise idea of, and coni means um, to be acquainted with. So we're going to use an ex idea, uh, we're going to use a phrase now where you could use either or and it changes the nuance of the sentence. So, mi sias la poemon means I know the poem, but it means I know the poem so goddamn well that I can recite it from heart. Well, that's going backwards. Like, I know everything about that poem. Well, mi konas le poemon means I know the poem. I'm mildly acquainted with it. It's like me and Shakespeare. Even though I'm a theatre theater trained actor, um, I still do not know it, you know, off the top of my head. I can't recite the whole thing from the top of my head unless it's for like a play and then I know my words. But yeah, that's the difference between the two. One is like full on knowledge and the other is to be acquainted with. Now, obviously, as I said, because we barely ever use these two in English, there are times where you might get a little bit confused about which you should use. Now, for instance, when you're talking about, I don't know what I want to do, I don't know what to eat, um, I know where to go, um, I know what to do type of thing, you know that one? That's talking about a precise idea. You're talking about the idea of something to do, okay? So there you would use see us. Okay, and you would never use conus, like almost never. Like, I've never seen anyone use conus in that type of situation. Because, like I said, you're talking about a precise idea of knowing what to do. It's not being acquainted with what to do, it's knowing what to do. So you'd say, um, I don't know what to do. Mine sias kion fari. Okay? Now, when you're talking about, say, for instance, a person, this is where it gets a little bit more muddy. So you could say, um, for instance, I know that person. You could say Misias Tiwin or Mikonas Tiwin, but there is a difference. In modern Esperanto, we almost always use Mikonas Tiwin for I know that person. But Zamenhof, the guy who you know, the guy who created this language, just old Zamenhof him, he kind of used both. Okay, like sometimes he would say Misias Tiwin or Mikonas Tiwin, depending on how much he was trying to put emphasis on the fact that he really knew that person. But in modern Esperanto, it doesn't matter how much you really know someone, you pretty much always just use conas, okay? So just remember that, put that into like the back of your little memory bank. Um, there's another time, okay, for instance when you're talking about language, where you basically will never fully know a language as in Misias Lingvon. Again, Zamenhof, old mate, he did every now and then use it, but in modern Esperanto, how dare you kick me in the back, that is so rude. Um, we pretty much always just say mi konas lingvon mi ne konas lingvon 
However, you will see some constructions. You pretty much always say Connus, okay? Why am I doing that? I'm pulling out the wrong thing. I'm distracting myself with teaching. I've got to stop doing that. Not the teaching part, the distracting part. Oh my god, I did it again. Give me one second. Activate. Go. There we go. Now I'm hacking that computer. You notice how in every movie of the world, when they hack a computer, there's like all these like 3D effects and stuff. But when you really hack a computer, it's not that. You're sitting there looking for holes in software and more like holes in firewalls and stuff. So you don't sit there for this little magic machine that just like hacks through the air, Wi-Fi style. Anyway, I just wanted to get have that like little random, you know, whinge. So how would you then say, I know his face? By the way, face is visage. Me conas lian visage. Again, it's because you're acquainted with a person, you're also acquainted with their face. You have knowledge of their face in the sense that you've seen it around, but you don't know every nook and cranny of it. You haven't sit there studied every little pimple on his face, have you? Now, have you? Unless you're like really weird and you're one of those stalkers that hangs out in people's rooms when they're asleep. But yeah, so you pretty much always use conas uh, there. So when you're talking about a person or a trait of a person, you use conas. When you're talking about a language, you use conas. But when you're talking about pretty much anything else, um, you use see us. Unless you're trying to make the, the whole emphasis that you have a mild understanding of something, you've seen it. But like when you're talking about something like, I, I can read a book, um, you say, me see us leggy uh, libidon, okay. But you could use other verbs, obviously, but there you'd always use see us over con us. Oh, oh, get past the machine guns, get past the machine guns. Yeah, 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 you're not going to get me now. <laughs> Anyway, I've reached the end of this level from memory. Yes, I am correct. So if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, me, the Undigos Vin. <laughs>